I'm Jennifer Stevenson, an Applications Engineer with Altera Corporation. Today, I'll be showing you the Terrasic Cyclone 5 GX Starter Kit. First, let's take a look at the portfolio of Cyclone 5 FPGA kits. Altera and its partners have added several new kits to the Altera Cyclone 5 kit portfolio, starting at a price of just $49. These kits provide a range of capabilities, from general purpose logic to PCI Express Gen 2 and SFP evaluation. This portfolio provides significantly more kit choices than competing FPGA products. If you're already familiar with Cyclone 5 products, there are new enhancements to the Cyclone 5 FPGA family you might not know about. Some of these enhancements include new small packages with up to 40% more logic per square millimeter, transceiver speed increases now up to 6.144 gigabits per second, and LVDS data rates up to 1 gigabits per second. Now let's look more closely at the Terrasic Cyclone 5 GX Starter Kit. This starter kit provides a flexible platform with numerous onboard peripherals, interfaces, and expansion ports for a low price point of just $179. The kit includes a 75,000 logic element Cyclone 5GX FPJ device. There's a 4 gigabit by 32 LPDDR2 memory that interfaces to the FPJ's hard memory controller. It's got an HDMI output for video applications, HSMC and Terrasic GPIO headers to expand functionality, and it's the first Altera kit to include an Arduino Uno compatible connector. The kit also provides an ADC to interface with the Arduino connector. The HSMC, GPIO, and Arduino headers on this kit expand its capabilities with over 300 cards available from Terrasic, other Altera partners, and the Arduino community. We'll discuss Arduino more in a few moments. Let's look at some Terrasic starter kit capabilities. We'll begin with the kit control panel. The control panel executable installs with the kit demonstration files, providing a dashboard of kit functions running from a PC. First, we'll connect power to the kit. Then we'll plug in the USB connector that comes with the kit, and the other end is plugged into our PC. Then we'll turn on power to the kit, and a simple counter design will start running. Now over to the PC, we'll launch the Cyclone 5 control panel. The control panel automatically detects the kit and configures the Cyclone 5 GX FPGA to control the kit interfaces. This control panel allows us to exercise the peripherals and I.O. devices. For example, we can control the memory, select the memory type, LPDDR2, and enter data to write to memory and then read back from memory. We can also write a hex file of data into the memory space and read it back using the control panel. We could also test our HDMI interface by connecting an HDMI compatible monitor to the kit and running display patterns from this control panel. The Cyclone 5 starter control panel provides a quick out of the box experience to demonstrate kit interfaces. Next, let's look at the ADC demo available for the Terrasic kit. This demo design makes use of the onboard ADC interfacing with the Cyclone 5 FPJ. We've connected a function generator to the ADC interface available through the Arduino pins on the starter kit. The ADC converts the analog signal from a function generator and drives it to the Cyclone 5 FPJ. A soft 32-bit processor configured into the FPJ, called the NEOS2 processor, converts this data into framed graphics before buffering into LPDDR2 memory. If you want more information about the NEOS2 soft processor, visit the website shown on the screen. Altera's video and image processing IP blocks read the frame data and drive the selected video format to the HDMI interface. The result is an oscilloscope representation of the original analog signal. The generator output drives a 1 kHz sinusoid to the ADC and Cyclone 5 FPGA on the kit. The FPJ drives the HDMI connector to create the oscilloscope time and voltage view on the monitor. As I change the signal shape to triangle on the function generator, you'll see the triangular shape reflected on the HDMI monitor. Next, we'll look at the Arduino connector capabilities of the Terrasic starter kit. Arduino is an open source community hardware platform designed with microcontrollers and uses a standard daughter card connector for expansion. The daughter cards are called shield boards, and they're designed for stacking on a single platform. 
The Teresex Starter Kit provides an Arduino Uno Rev3 connector to control shield boards. Examples of shield add-on boards include Ethernet, USB, motor drives, motion sensors, and many more. You can visit shieldless.org, arduino.cc, and adafruit.com for more information on available shield boards. Here's an example of a TFT LCD shield that I've added. In this design, a NEOS 2 processor executing in the Cyclone 5 FPGA controls the LCD screen. This particular LCD also includes a joystick that allows user interaction with the screen. LCD touch displays are also available from the ecosystem of Arduino hardware. I've shown you just a few demonstrations of the Trasic Starter Kit, and this starter kit is just one of several kits available now from Altera and our partners. This allows you to choose the right kit for your budget. Visit our webpage for more information on Cyclone 5 FPGA kits and order today. I'm Jennifer Stevenson. On behalf of everyone here at Altera, thanks for watching.